Massage guns are great for recovery after leg workouts, running and cycling. And they can be very helpful for knee pain, hamstring strains, problems with your calves and quads. So this is how to use them safely and effectively. Both recovery and rehab often involve a lot of light repetitious movement of muscles. So I recommend using a massage gun with muscle movement to maximize its effectiveness, especially in the legs. Let's start off with some important general tips. Don't use the massager for more than two minutes on any one area. Don't use it over areas of inflammation like bursitis or tendonitis. And stick to the foam ball tip for the legs because the plastic tips can tend to bruise the soft tissue. My exception here would be if you can find an arc shape tip, they can be quite good for the legs because they have a large surface area and they can cup the muscles nicely in the legs. Avoid the bony point of your hip at the side of your pelvis because there's a bursar over the bone there and that could be irritated by a massage gun. And keep away from other bony points like your knees, the front of your pelvis where the bone sticks out, that's called the ASIS, and your heels. And lastly, steer clear of areas of superficial nerves and blood vessels like the groin, the backs of the knees, or between your ankle bones and the Achilles tendon on either side. The first area I recommend focusing on is the outer thigh, particularly the lower half. The iliotibial band and the outer quads can get very tight after quad heavy exercises like weights, running and cycling. If they do, they can pull your kneecap to the outside too much and give you knee pain. So focus on that area with a foam ball or an arc tip while relaxed or gently flexing the knee. Next, work the front of the thigh, but particularly the top half where knots tend to form. If the rectus femoris muscle here gets tight, it can tilt the pelvis forward causing low back pain or lead to patellar tendonitis in the knees. Lightly flexing the leg while you use the massager in this area works well here. The inner thigh is another important area to cover, especially if you get problems with your adductors. I find the best position for this area is in the crossed leg position, using the other hand to raise and lower the knee. Don't forget to cover the lower part of the inner thigh too, more towards the back. This is a good area to work on for runners. Three muscles that pass through here attach to the pes anserine area and can cause bursitis pain just below the knee on the inside if they get tight. Flexing the knee while seated tends to work best for these muscles too. The belly of the hamstring muscles can be a little bit tender in some people with a massage gun, so go gently in this area. Flex and extend the leg through its full range of motion while you work on the hamstring. This is invaluable to increase the blood flow to the upper hamstring tendons. So hang out there for a while if you have a bit of tightness in the upper hammy. Just make sure you don't press onto your sitting bone of your pelvis though. The calves can be another sensitive area, so be gentle here too. Sitting with your leg crossed, gently flex the ankle as you massage. Work in the belly of the muscles, paying particular notice to the inside and the outside of the calf to help to avoid things like shin splints. If you feel an electric or tingling sensation run down your leg, move away from that spot because you're getting too close to nerves. Remember to keep away from the back of the knee and the sides of the Achilles. For the Achilles itself, you can use the foam ball on its side and be very gentle, but you only really need to do this if you get Achilles tightness. Finish off on the fleshy part on the outside of your shin bone. Fluid can build up in this area and cause anterior compartment syndrome in runners especially. So do this section lying down with your leg up. Make sure you move the massage gun from the foot towards the knee to help drain this area. And flex your ankle gently to help clear out any fluid. Massage guns can be great for the shoulders, the feet and the back too. So I've got some videos on those and I'll link them in the description box below. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing because it really helps. Okay, cheers.